guys, Caleb Shockley back again with another great After Effects tutorial. So today I'm going to be going over how to have a time freeze effect while part of it is still moving. So it's kind of like a partial time freeze effect, uh, however you want to say it. So uh, this is the effect that we're going to be making. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. So, uh, I actually, I want to get this out of the way. I shot this on a tripod, and I added in the uh, camera shake uh, afterwards with the VFX Bros Real Camera Shake, which is an After Effects preset that's free that you can download on his website, thevfxbro.com. Okay, so uh, let's get into it. So, you're going to need... Uh, two two separate pieces of footage okay uh, if you do it the way I did you need the one of the person moving and the one of the uh, person that you're freezing or whatever you're freezing and having moved okay so uh, take take the one of whatever is moving uh, or just either one drag that into a new composition here so uh Hold up a minute. So just find the point that you want it to start at. Um, I think around here will be good. And where you want it to end. Okay. So then drag that to the beginning. It is if you actually cut it, you may not have had to. Okay, and then take the uh, footage of the other part and just drop that underneath or above, doesn't really matter. Just find uh, about where you, about where you're gonna need it. Well, actually, I'm gonna focus on the, uh, on this one, on this set real quick. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna let this play out so we can render and I can scrub through. So if you do it the way I did it, uh see I have I dropped it. If you do it that way, make sure someone catches it so, or put something soft under it so it doesn't make a loud noise so it's not obvious that you dropped it instead of making it freeze. Okay, I think that'll be good. So, uh, so I would have a clear way of knowing where it freezed. I used to snap. So that way, uh, that way I would know clearly where I need to have it f freeze. Okay, so about right there. And I just make a marker. Move forward to the second snap. out there okay so now I have now I have my mark so I know exactly where I need to freeze it and unfreeze it so uh, my footage here for this uh, for this footage was kind of long there was a bit too much uh, or was longer than the other one so it's here Okay, I'm just gonna turn this up. So, uh, that's my brother 
who I'm dropping the water bottle on, and he didn't move very much between the freeze and the not freeze. So, well, he didn't really move at all. So I can, so I can really trim it uh, wherever I wherever I need. Okay, so I'm gonna just drag this to the front. Okay. So now I'm gonna move to the marker. I'm gonna split it. And then uh then I'll just come out a little bit, split it again. Cause it doesn't matter how long this next part is, because it's gonna be freeze, gonna be uh well, frozen. Uh just right click time I yeah, I just fro I just did a freeze frame. So that way it's, you know, frozen the whole time. Just drag it out to the frame before the marker. Okay, so now I have now I've got it frozen, so uh, there's no move. There's ab just absolutely no movement, which is good, which is e exactly what we need. Okay, so let's uh create, let's create this mask. So I'm just gonna start off with this one. Uh, grab the masking tool, and I'll just. And you may have noticed, but in the second one there's sunlight, and in the first one there's not. So it looks uh, really weird. So what you've got to do, you got to feather it out. But you can't feather it too much, otherwise the person will start to disappear. And we can't have that. So now it's feathered, so it kind of blends more, but it's not... It may not be perfect, but it's close enough. So then, what you're gonna do, uh, or at least what I did, anyways, I just, uh, I just duplicated. No, not duplicated. Correction. I copied the mask and pasted it on the freeze. So that way, same mask whole time does not change a bit, which was pretty good. Okay, so now let's focus on this. So to make the water bottle freeze in midair is I went went forward when I dropped it well, when I was completely let go of it I drew a mask around it. Uh, yeah, I drew a I just uh, act no correction. I duplicated, then drew a mask. Okay, so then I freeze frame this and trimmed it up okay actually what you're gonna need to do cuz since I dropped it I'm, I've actually got to bring out the mask so that way you don't see the water bottle dropping you know And now you have a frozen water bottle. Well, wait a minute. I've actually really got to bring bring out this mask. So that way you absolutely positively will not see it drop.
Does that sound good? Y'all, uh, y'all following? And it just that mask there. Okay. And then you'll cut it at this other marker where the time where the time will unfreeze. Uh see so let's drag that there. See so here. That looks that looks about at the same point that the other one was. So just Trim it, to, trim it to where you think, about where you think it, it's right. And you can adjust it afterwards, depending on whether or not you were right. Yeah, that look, that looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, now you've got to draw another mask. I know it seems like lots of masks but that's very important uh, to make this effect look right to so draw a mask around whatever big you want and again you got a feather because of the uh, well for me I had a feather because of the light differences make it blend a little better and there you go you that's uh that is the finished product folks let's uh take a look see how this looks you can trim comp to work area let's see looks pretty good to me so uh, and this one it's a different size than the original one that I showed because I trimmed the other one because uh, to fit the size of an iPod because I put these videos that I show you tutorials on on Instagram so that's why I'm adding real camera shake and I added camera movement just to make it feel more realistic you don't have to do that if you if you're not doing it for that for that purpose but I did. So uh, that it, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can make a time, a partial time freeze effect. So I uh, hope this was helpful. Hope you can use it in your filmmaking. Uh, thanks for watching. That's all.